Hi guys, I'm Beth and this is Read Remark. Today we are going to talk about Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata. Thank you so much for joining as always. My name is Beth and this is the Read Remark Booktube channel. Today we are going to talk about Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata. This was a really good novel, a really short one. In fact, many people might call it a novella, but to me, it packed so much within those pages that it was a full story. I didn't feel like we were shortchanged on anything. We got an entire story within those pages. Here's the basic rundown of the book. It follows our main character, Keiko. She is a woman in her 30s. She possibly has antisocial personality disorder or what's commonly known as uh, sociopathy. She has trouble understanding social cues. She has trouble understanding emotions. She has a really loving and supportive family though that kind of helps her find ways to make it through life. She's able to mimic some um, reactions from other people so that she can have those acceptable social interactions. And she's able to follow instructions really well. And so she finds her calling working in a Japanese convenience store. Okay, now guys. Here's the thing, Japanese convenience stores are amazing apparently. I had not known that prior to this book, but um, after reading through it, I had to look up some YouTube videos and Google articles about these Japanese convenience stores called Kombini, which are just amazing. They have fresh foods, snacks, hot buns, rotating seasonal specialties. You can do all sorts of stuff there like pay bills, ship packages. It seems like, you know, it just puts our convenience stores to shame. <laughs> So within this Japanese convenience store, Keiko has really found her calling because um, apparently working there is much more regimented than it might be in the United States. In fact, they had this morning practice where they practice saying their greetings and exits to people. They talk about um, stocking different things due to seasonal demands. They, um, they have to say hello in a certain way with certain voice modulation and for Keiko, something like that, with all that regimented um, rules and social interactions is perfect for her. In fact, even the way that she interacts with her coworkers is very much by the book, kind of the way she would interact with the customer. <music> Everything is going swimmingly for Keiko within the convenience store until they get a new employee named Shiraha. Put simply, Shiraha is a jerk. He badmouths everyone. He talks about how horrible the manager is and how he's working at this demeaning job. He talks about how horrible all of his coworkers are and how horrible he himself is for working such a lowly job and not fitting into that puzzle piece of society. As his relationship with Keiko grows, he moves into her apartment rent-free, job-free, convinces her to quit her job as a convenience store woman and pay down his debt because she just isn't working in a job that's important enough <laughs> to be reputable. And he just bad talks the crap out of her. And it speaks to a part of her that um, she thinks he's telling the truth. He's dropping truth bombs on her. <laughs> because of her personality disorder, she's never really believed herself to fit in anywhere. She's often have, had to mimic people, have stock template answers ready for their questions, and kind of pretend at being human to, to get through the world. <laughs> So I don't want to give away the ending, but I will say it was very satisfactory to me. Some people may see it as sort of her um, regressing or giving up. For me, I find it as Keiko having found herself and come back to herself. Again, not going to tell you what happened, but I will say I was very happy with it. So, Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata. I really enjoyed this book. I think you will too. If you read it, let me know. And if you have visited the convenience stores in Japan yourself, let me know because I just want to hear more and more about them. And it makes me want to take a trip to Japan just to visit them. And of course, see the wonderful culture, but convenience stores also. <laughs> Thank you as always for watching. I will catch you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that wonderful booktube stuff, and I will see you later.
Bye. Hi guys, I'm Beth and this is Reed. <laughs>